process called the thermite reaction. So the thermite is a mixture of iron three oxide and aluminum, right? Yes. And so that's what this red stuff is here, this red powder. Uh, you might have seen it before. So we're just going to pour a bunch of this down into the container. And so, here we go. There's plants over there. Uh, and then we're going to pack it down a little bit. where we are uh, creating uh, the iron metal. So we're starting with the iron oxide and aluminum and we're switching it out so it's a redox reaction. Uh, and so we're going to need some things to get that started. So there's a thing called thermite. Well, what's going to be produced? So what's going to be produced? Excellent question, Randy. So we're going to be producing iron. Uh, we'll get some molten iron dripping down here so that'll be the important thing to look for. Uh, and then we'll also have the aluminum. Oxide? Yes. Yes, the level aluminum oxide. I remember what's happening. Um, so you guys aren't the only people I quiz. Uh, and so it's a and very, what are we starting with? So we need to start with the thermite start because it's no, a no. I mean, what's what's in the thermite again? So it's uh, iron three oxide and aluminum. Okay, so aluminum's an element when we start. Yes. And iron's the element when we're done. What's the oxidation state of aluminum? And when we start? Zero. 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 It's the element. What's the iron oxidation state of the iron three? Iron three. <laughs> three plus three, okay. When we're done, it's going to be iron metal element and aluminum oxide. What's the oxidation number of the iron? Zero. What's the oxidation number of the aluminum? Plus three because it's group three metal. So they're just swapping places. So their oxidation number is changing, so it's a redox reaction. Right? Right. So you put thermite starter in there. Yes. Yeah, so What's in the thermite starter? That's a really good question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't either. When I moved into my lab like 14 years ago, there was a big crate of bunch of this thermite, great thermite starter. Yeah. I think it's like barium peroxide and powdered magnesium, but I'm guessing. So but yeah, it works really good. It's really great. So that, I put that, some of that in there. Uh, so that'll help us get enough heat to get this reaction going. Uh, but obviously that's not going up because we need to start the thermite starter. Uh, so we're going to use a strip of magnesium. That's what this metal is. Uh, so we're going to stick it in here like a candle. You remember burning the magnesium ribbon, right? Right? Yes. Did, did we do that in Brian's class? No, we didn't do that. Oh, we didn't do that. Oh. <laughs> that's why. Well, you'll see magnesium. Burning. So first time for everything. So that's what that is. And then we need to start the magnesium on fire. Wait. So the magnesium is going to start the magnesium starter, or the, the thermite starter. So it's the thermite starter starter? Yes. But it's not starting on its own? Yes. So that's a thermite starter starter? Starter. starter? starter. Yes. <laughs> okay. So in case you've gotten lost, we have a propane torch to start the strip of magnesium on fire. So you'll see a bright burning flame that is magnesium. Uh, that'll start the thermite starter, which will be some sparks and flashy things. Uh, and then that'll start the thermite reaction, which is what you're interested in, which will be dripping out the bottom. So are you ready? No, because these people right here are too close. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> too close. Back a little back bit. A little. Back a little. There you go. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Now wait, wait. So remember, you don't want to watch. You guys see a bright light. You don't want to watch that. It's, yeah, you can't run. You're going to see a flash. You don't want to watch that. That's the thermite starter. What are they going to watch, Lonnie? They're going to watch the dripping of the bottom. Okay. We're ready. Ooh. 